the tree customization in CATIA. So again, we're going to jump back and forth here a little bit, kind of covering both sides. Um, what I mean by tree customization, and NX, we kind of have it a little bit, and I can go over that a little bit later. Uh, for right now, this is kind of a new thing for us, or uh, actually I had no idea what it was that it did before. It was called Open Subtree, and I, again, had no idea what it was, but then when I tried it, this window came out. Now, what does this mean? What does this actually do? Um, nothing really great. I can go ahead and have this. Uh, right now, this is just showing the DCS storage. So I can essentially have this same tree open, hide the uh, original Katia tree, and just work in the uh, DCS storage tree. Um, so if anybody who knows who Multicad is, uh, we can actually branch tree and work within a sub-assembly. Um, right now, we only have uh, the DCS storage tree where we're working to get that subtree open for all and everything within this tree in the, the DCS storage tree. So one of the key, if I jump in again, one of the key advantages here is obviously if you have a very large model and you're in CATIA, you have a double large tree. You have the CATIA tree and then you have the three DCS tree. Well now you can actually turn off the CATIA tree. After you've launched this one, you can drag the DCS tree into another screen if you happen to have a dual screen system. And now you have more, you know, graphic space on one monitor and you only have to manage the actual DCS modeling tree. Well, in NX, we do have that same kind of capability. Uh, we can go ahead and right click on one of the trees in 3DCS Model Navigator and go to branch tree. And so this kind of does the same thing um, where it only allows us to work into the internal components, uh, the glass wheel support, which is this essentially right here. Um, so it just kind of shrinks down the tree a little bit, makes it a little easier for us to uh, uh, build through here. Uh, and then we can just go back to expand tree and it'll show the whole thing again. We see this a lot with our aerospace customers, where um, I've seen a Katia tree with an aerospace customer that was, was so long you had to scroll for days to get to the bottom of it because they had you know, 10,000, 12,000 parts. So the concept being here is I can take one sub-assembly, I can branch that tree out and just work within the, the 3DCS data for those particular parts and I can quickly clean up the tree and see only what I'm working on. So it'll make it a lot easier to navigate and to work with your, your parts, your moves, your tolerances, and your measures. 